it's Easter Sunday. I'm kind of wearing an Easter Sunday dress. So I wanted to answer a question that I have always had since I've been a cougar and since it has subsequently been asked of me. Um, so I will knock out two of us with the same question and also answer the, a little bit of the question of, you know, uh, what is the age limit on what, who I date and why that number exists. And um, first, we're going to talk about what I said I was going to talk about last time for this one, which is the pitfalls and red flags of dating a younger man. Now, the first one I'm going to talk about is religion. Now, religious belief can be as innocuous as politics, and I say that kind of tongue-in-cheek because politics isn't necessarily innocuous. <laughs> but politics can be avoided a little bit in a way that religious beliefs sometimes can't. So let's start with that. Um, so it, it becomes an elephant in the room because it has to do with the young man's family and peer group. And I'm going to talk about family and peer group next, but I'm starting with religious belief first because it encompasses those. So that's a problem right there. But also the religious belief itself becoming a crisis of faith situation in someone who's young um, might be more likely. So that's an issue where um, that dating an older woman is just going to be one more issue to deal with and could be the straw that broke the camel's back. So that's the religious belief issue with dating a younger man. Then there is the family issue. If the young man has an unstable family situation, and uh, by that I don't mean um, there, for example, can be a, an estrangement, but that's a stable situation because that's a no contact situation. So that's stable. There's a stability to it. But I mean unstable, like if there's the constant turmoil with the family going on, then that also dating the older woman is going to be one more straw that breaks likely to break the camel's back and uh, make the relationship not work. So then finally there's the peer group. If I, I posit this and it's open for discussion but in my experience it's been if the young man's peer group is highly competitive then they tend to get more um, flack for dating an older woman. So um, they would probably get more flack anyway if they're competitive and they tend to rib each other for anything having to do with dating. Um, but there's also a caveat to the religious belief and family uh, group as well, and that is these crises of faith or um, instability in the family, these can happen at, at a young man's age, it can happen at an old man's age. <laughs> so it's interesting that this gets brought up in a highlight to um, the dating situation between an older woman and younger man because uh, it's already got that social stigma to it that such that things that might normally be overlooked in other dating situations become that much more prevalent or um, powerful, potent in a destructive way and um, eating away at the relationship. So that was also giving you a little bit to nibble on about how age can be just a number and what is the point of the question how young a man are you willing to date so I'm not going to answer that directly now because that will be in my next video um, but I did want to give a little bit to nibble on there which is that um, these struggles can happen to someone at any age so um, for example religious crisis of faith happened to a young man I was dating when he was 24 so I made a rule I would not date anyone under 25 but then I met someone under 25 that was very mature and um, had to scratch that so I will get more into that in my next video but um, so far, I think that's everything I wanted to say. It's the peer group, the family, and religious belief, and where the young man is situated in those, in those realms, in those arenas, and um, how he navigates through those, and how he identifies the locus of control um, in those different arenas. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.